at noon, a South Florida man accused of crashing into a family of four, killing the father, taking a plea today. Local 10 News reporter Parker Branton joins us live from Miami to tell us about some chaos that happened after court. Parker. And the judge said this was the most crowded courtroom that she has ever seen for a plea agreement. 28-year-old Joseph Franco making another appearance in a Miami courtroom today, this time pleading guilty to vehicular homicide, possession of nitrous oxides, tampering with evidence, and three counts of reckless driving. And emotions running high just after that plea agreement was finished. Let's get you straight to some video that shows the widow of Amir Peleg walks out of the courtroom and appears to slap another woman who was sobbing in the hallway. Peleg would not comment on who that woman was when we asked her, but it does appear that that woman who was slapped was with the defense's party. Also in court, Franco read out loud an apology letter in front of the courtroom, a packed courtroom at that, sobbing throughout the letter, both the families of the defense and of the victim, both sides emotional throughout today. Amir Peleg's wife spoke along with his mother and other family and friends, saying the family was on their way back to a park, back to a park in Sunny Isles in July of 2018 when Amir, Zulma, and their two children were ran over. The two children were severely injured from this incident. The mother was in a coma and the father, Amir, not surviving. Here's what both the victim's wife says her children say now that their father is gone. And we're also hearing from the man today who pled guilty. So this says, I love you, daddy. I miss you, daddy. I think of you, daddy. I got a straight A, daddy. That's all you always wanted from me. I know there's nothing I can do to make up for this terrible accident. I know there's nothing I can do to bring you back. And after this crash, witnesses reported that Franco took a duffel bag from his car and then dumped it elsewhere. That duffel bag then later finding out that it contained it, nitrous oxides, also known as the street name of whippets, a gas to get high off of. There was some back and forth on whether exactly Franco was high or not during this incident. Uh, the defense saying that he was not actually handing us this copy of this toxicology report just after this hearing today that shows no signs of detection of any type of uh, under any type of uh, controlled substance after this crash occurred. But again, the, uh, the state and the prosecution really sticking to their word on this, saying that they do believe that Franco was high during this incident. incident. All in all, we do know that he walked out of this courtroom today in handcuffs. He will serve three years in state prison and then following that, five years of probation. Of course, much more to come this afternoon from this story. We're live in Miami. Parker Branton, Local 10 News.